Hello hotties, welcome back to the channel, or hello if this is your first time, make sure to subscribe to become a hottie by now. If you guys know anything about like the influencer space in wardrobe, we've all seen the brand addicted. It's literally everywhere. We see the hauls, we see all the girlies wearing them, and it's like the brand to get cutesy stuff, right? And obviously, we all know our favorite girl, Shein. I mean, are they our favorite girl? Their quality's definitely gone downhill, because I definitely remember their clothes being top tier. But that brings us to today. We all know that boutiques of all sizes get their clothing probably from the same manufacturers or maybe some places are even sourcing from Shein. It brings the question up, how good is Addicted clothing? Are they that good? Today we're gonna test it out pretty much though. I have never ordered from Addicted. I've seen their stuff for, I wanna say years, but let's just say months to keep it simple. I have been following their stuff for months and I think they really do have some really cute stuff. However, I've always been too scared to order from them because I'm not a skinny girl. I'm like, I, I want to say mid-size. I'm not even mid-size. I am a size 8 or a medium across the board, like shirts, pants, whatever. I was literally a size 8 until it comes down to feet where I'm a size 10. Point being, the girlies that we put on Addicted are like, itty bitty wears their waist. And I just want to see like, let's see if I'm in cute. And then that comes back up to Shein of, I've seen some of these same pieces that Addicted has on Shein. And I just really want to see, is the quality that different? Because I haven't heard anything about the quality of addicted clothes. I've only seen good things about them. So I wanted to see if they were gonna be good. I ordered four different pieces from Addicted and Shein, some of which are literally identical and others that are a little off. I just wanted to see the, the quality, to be honest, TBH. So I don't want to dilly dally. Let's go ahead and look at my order from Shein. My total ended up coming out to be $48.62 for five-ish items, which standard for, I mean, Shein definitely has gone up in price considering their stuff's quality has not always been the best. Okay, I'll give you a little pass today. And my addicted total comes out to be $91.46 and most of my items were on sale for 50% off. So realistically, my total should have been like 200, but also I definitely use another girlie's code because if you're ever about to shop anywhere, literally look up that brand and do haul. And more than likely someone's gonna have a disco code. Definitely do that, shout out to my girl but let me use discount code. So Addicted is like four times the price of what I got at Shein. But I mean, if the quality is good, if the quality is there, then it's there. Like, no complaints over here. But I might as well like, let's get into it and try some items on. Starting out small, I got the same necklace. It is a bow beaded charm necklace from Shein. I got it for a dollar and three cents. Obviously with their discounts, they always do. 140 if we're being accurate and from addicted it is normally eight dollars so let's get into it literally have never ordered from addicted before kind of excited all right let's start with packaging this this is the Shein packaging. It's literally just in a little container. Nothing special about that. And then Addicted, they do have this a little baggie and it says Addicted. It's a huge bag, not gonna chat. Like, do I need all this plastic? Fun fact, I've actually ordered this necklace before for a previous event off of Shein. Didn't know, I literally was just like, <laughs> Why not? And then I saw it again and I was like, oh, well, I don't even know where that old one is. So, so Shan versus Addicted. The Addicted one is smaller. Ooh, actually. So, and the only reason I know these are different is because the Shein is gold and the Addicted is silver. But if we look at the pearl, the Shein ones are not as, what's the term? Holographic as the Addicted ones. And the Addicted ones are a lot smaller. Hmm, I totally thought these were going the same exact thing. Okay, let's try them on. So this is the Shein one. I feel like, I mean, it looks okay. I don't know what I was expecting, honestly. Like I've had this necklace before. I mean, it looks fine. You know, Vogue moment. And the addicted one. Okay, so the bow's a lot smaller and I can't really get it to like stay. Okay, there we go. I feel like they're very cute. Like they're both just two generic necklaces that like you really could get these from any manufacturer, but whether they did make theirs themselves or they did get someone, they put their own tagging on it. So I'm not even mad at it. Would I pay $8 for it? No, if I know that I could get it all Shein, but it's kind of cute. I give it to him, I just give it to him. But in all honesty, compared to the price, the look, and the quality. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and try to break these because what a waste. I think that this one's gonna go to Shein purely because the Shein one is longer. I like longer necklaces and it wasn't such a hassle to get the bow. And like when it comes to the shininess, is anyone gonna really notice such a minuscule difference about like the pearl size or how holographic they are? Probably not. So if I can pay a dollar compared to like $8 because if they weren't on sale, it'd probably just be the Shein one. Let's go over to the clothing. Okay, next up on our list, we have two different tube tops. I really just got 
like neither of these look, they don't look alike at all. Sorry about that. But my thought process was, right? What is the way they make their tube tops? Cause I've realized Shein tube tops are made a very particular way. So I wanted to see if Addicted was gonna be any different. This first tube top from Shein was $5.09 and I paid $2.95. The Astro Stripe tube top from Addicted is $30 and I paid it for 15 cause 50% 50 off. Let's go ahead and try on these tops. The Shein one is already looking a little light, but maybe this cause this is right out, I don't know. Let's try on the Shein one first. Like most Shein items, it is 100% polyester, but like low key, I can see myself with a little bag maybe. I kinda like this actually. I like rarely ever wear tube tops since becoming an adult, but like it's not bad. And like it's all elastic here at the top. This isn't bad though, low key. Hmm, hmm. I have no complaints. Yeah, no complaints. That's a cute little top. Let's do the addicted one. All right, this one's a little see-through. Tap bit, tap bit. Um, it has a little bow on it. Honestly, like, if I'm holding them side by side, the Shein one is slightly softer. And like, I feel like this one's a little see-through, but if I had to like choose one, I probably wouldn't know the difference. Like if I took off all the tags and everything, I probably wouldn't know. And I'd probably say this one is Shein, but I like, like I said, I have no complaints. And they're made the exact same way. Like I thought Shein was the only one that just kind of did like a line and called it a day. But this is the exact same thing. Yep. There's nothing special about these tops. Um, I really do like this darker one. I wish this had darker lines because this is more of like a peach color. But honestly, I'm not even mad at this one either. Let's say this one is a tie. Time for items number two. Next, I got a matching set. I got them in slightly different colors. The Addicted one is a lighter pink. It's called the Sol Solange Ruffle Mesh Tube Top and Skirt. And then the Shein one is just a woman's ruffle mesh top. The darker pink and they are slight differences in the skirt, but I feel like they're gonna both look really cute. They look exactly the same. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is probably some of the best Shein quality clothing I've gotten in a hot minute. Like this skirt, thick. It comes with shorts underneath. This is so cute. Now for this to be a Shein set, I'm kind of flabbergasted. I feel very cutesy in this. And like, especially for it to be less than half the cost. And if I could see this like in my clubbing future. Oh, look at this. Let's try on the Addicted one and see which one is giving winner this time around. Did I mention this one also has shorts? Okay, this is the Addicted one. What do we think? Um, This is tight as hell. Like, I don't know what it is, but it says it's a medium, but it does not fit like a medium. Like, it's definitely fitting like a small. And also, the skirt, cute, doesn't come with shorts underneath. That's very important. I'm sorry, but I would love for this skirt to have come with shorts because for girlies who are a little thicker, um, it would have been very nice to have those shorts underneath, especially because if I want to wear this out like to the club, some shorts would have been nice. Honestly, the Shein one is definitely thicker and as much as I would love to give this set to Addicted, because I do like that this skirt does come with a little ruffle ruffle, it's just not giving. Another point, Shein. to set or I guess outfit whatever number dress we have from Shein a sexy strapless top um it's not exactly the same but I mean it's close enough to it sorry and then from addicted we have a starfish strapless top once again I just kind of want to compare the top styles to how they're made for the addicted one I did pay $16.80 compared price, which is $56. And for the Shein one, I paid $3.79, originally $4.57. Let's go try it on, starting with Shein again. Okay, she's a top, all right. Um, I feel like any little bit of movement I'm going to do, and I'm gonna have a nip slip. Like, I'm genuinely terrified. There's no sort of rubber up top. It's very flowy, I feel. Disgustingly huge. She looks cute, I guess, but would I wear her again? Oh no. Like I said, I really do. Like, I do need like a strapless bar or something. But she doesn't want to stay up anyway. Once again, sizing completely off. I know that I am literally a true medium. And so for me to feel like this is about to fall does not make me feel good. And like, I'm not part of the itty bitty committee, but I'm also not like. 
you know, I'm not mommy. I, I don't know what to do with these. I don't, I really wish I could say more, but I cannot. Let's try on the addicted one, honest, honestly, like, <laughs> You know what's crazy? I really did try to find stuff that was like identical and looking at this now, these don't look like at all. Tragic! I don't feel like you're behind this. Wait, I literally feel like a mermaid fairy. Like if mermaids and fairies were a thing, that'd be me. Oh my God, wait. Okay, screaming. I literally just made a video the other day talking about how much I hate pop plum tops just because it really does make me look boxy, but why is this one kind of a sleigh? And it has the starfish. Oh my goodness, wait. <laughs> I'm screaming, this is really so cute. Mordecai, you like the top? Um, I don't know, he's just staring at me. Tell them how much you like the top. Tell, tell them. See, look at him, he doesn't even want to look at me. Stop, because this would be such a sleigh. Maybe you bring in a pop color? Oh no, wait. I'm definitely gonna have to take pictures in this top, like, tomorrow. This is so cute! I, I'm literally speechless for this. I'm just obsessing. Okay, okay, addicted. I see you. Yeah. Addicted. You guys win this one. Y'all, y'all eat this one up. I'm so sorry for offending people who do not like popcorn tots because I'm kind of like screaming over this actually. Lastly, and this one is literally the most shocking out of everything, are these bow pants. I've seen them everywhere. I originally saw them in blue, but Addicted only had white or black, so I just did white, because I'm more likely to wear some white straight leg pants. If you can't tell, I love me some straight leg pants. They're just so comfortable. But Shein and Addicted both had them. And while Shein's were only $19.26.89, not including their little discount, Addicted's went to $92, and I got them for $46. That is absolutely outrageous. But let's go test these on. Starting with Shein. I did get them in a size medium, but it's a medium tall. I don't know what that means. They're probably just gonna be a little longer. Who knows? So let's get to it. These are the pants from Shein. It's giving a little heart back there. My only complaint with these pants, they are tight as hell around the thighs. Like I feel like I'm going to bend over a little too much and it's just gonna rip right open like right there. Don't know what that's called, but I totally can feel that happening. And it said tall, and so I guess that meant like high waisted, because I got crotch space, unless I have them all the way up here. Oh, I don't know. I mean, they're cute, but I'm definitely like struggling to keep these up all the way, unless I want it to literally be baggy. Just like, look at all that spice. But if I wanted them comfortable on my thighs, I'd have to wear them down here and now they're baggy. Also, they're see-through. Like, I don't know if it's just because they're white pants, but I can definitely see all the pocket just like popping through. Hey. I mean, they're cute, but I just don't like that they're see-through and they're tight, really tight. Let's try on the addicted ones. <laughs> they don't see it. The girl is just a little too curvy, and they don't fit. Like, these pants will not button. At all. I'm sorry, she didn't want this one. Like, not that I would wear either of these again, they're both very cute, but I just don't fit. They're not coming up. They won't zip. Hmm, very cutesy idea. But to actually wear them, it's going to be a no-no. I really want to like do something else. Like the button feels the exact same of the Shein quality. Um, they are literally the exact pants, but the Shein ones were tall and these ones were just like a regular medium. I don't know what to tell y'all. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's put back on some regular pants.
all hotties. I was not expecting this to be honest, but she in one. She is really popped out low key, or maybe I just chose really good items, but I was not expecting she in to win in the slightest. I really was like, I mean, Addicted so popular. I spent $91 and I'm kind of like almost disappointed. Like I really wanted Addicted to win. I see all the Addicted hauls and she and my baby. You really popped out with that one. I, I love you guys. If you want anything in this video, I definitely marked what I did and did not want to keep. Comment down below and I'll let someone have these items. Cause like I said, I probably will not wear some of these pieces again, just because either they didn't fit or I didn't like the way they fit on me. But I love you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy today's video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye hotties. What? I'm like really shocked though. She ain't winning? <laughs> I'm gonna, let me not, I already have my shopping addiction. Let me not spend more money on Shein. Unless they're good.